We get asked about WooCommerce product images quite a lot, so we're doing a quick video on it. When you add your images into your media library for your WooCommerce shop, you gotta make sure they are cool, enticing, engaging, basically beautiful to make visitors want to purchase the item. What you don't want are pixelated images taken on WhatsApp, shadowy, the highlights are wrong, the lighting, stuff like that where it kind of ruins the look you're going for and it might stop people from purchasing or converting. Now we're using canva.com. I, I am using the premium version, which is about 10.99 a month because there are some features you get here that I think are super useful. I'm not here to sell you Canva, but the reason I like to use it is just because it is super, super versatile. Now what we're gonna do is create a design, okay? Now when you go to do your sizing, you can go for 500 by 500 as your canvas size. 600 by 600 is also recommended, especially when you go to say your website, the theme, customizer, WooCommerce, they do kind of put 600 there. Go for what you want. Don't go for too big. Don't go for a thousand by a thousand. You don't really need to go that big. And if you're gonna use the same image for your hero banner, then create a totally separate hero banner image. So we're not gonna create a design. The very first thing I'm gonna show you though is can you see there is this like gray outline over here? Now, if you go to file, you do need the premium version for this to show the margins. If you don't have the premium version, in fact, no, I'm probably wrong here. No, show margins is on the free version. So if you go to your canvas and you don't see the margins with that little bit of padding, please get it on. The reason being is once you've applied show margins like that, the hash design there, when I add on my images, I can ensure they do not go outside of that border. It's for consistency. So let me just go over to my uploads and add in a image. Now this image I have intentionally taken as a portrait because you can now see that if you were gonna stick this now on the website, it's the wrong orientation. And also we have a table and a bit of background. It does not look smart. What I'm gonna do though is just shrink it down a little bit like that. It still doesn't look smart. It still doesn't look absolutely great, does it? But if you now click on the image, go to edit image and then do background remover, it's gonna remove the background. This is part of the premium version for Canva. There are other tools, websites, Photoshop, other ways you can do this. Go away and do what works for you within your budget or whatever you've got. Now we've removed the background. I can now enlarge this so the bottom is kind of like, you know, just near the top. You do have to adjust it a little bit, you know, play around a bit um, until you get a little bit of consistency in how it looks. I'm just gonna move the image until it's in the middle like that. That now means that every time I add any product, it doesn't matter how tall or wide it is, they will never go out of kind of that grid pattern. And I also get a nice bit of white outline as well. You won't see the hash on the final pattern, so don't sit there going, I don't like that. But what is really good about that is if you've now got loads and loads of images, and by the way, you can, you know, um, add in, duplicate the page and start off another design if you want, or add in a blank page or however you want to do it. You can now add in some further design work. Because number tip number one is that when I download this like that, I will have a transparent background. Now, if my website has got a gray color or a blue color for the pages, this image will also have a blue background to it because it's a transparent background. Or I could click over here on the background. I'll do it again. You click on the background and I might go, right, we're going to give all of them that color. Now you may get a few artifacts coming through on your image depending on how you've removed the background, which is why I tend to go with the transparent background just because I feel like it works. But you can go a step further. So let's just go over to elements. I'm gonna type in wave. I'm gonna pick up this wave design here. I'm going to enlarge it like that. I'm going to flip it the other way. I'm also gonna change the color and we're gonna go with this reddish color over here. I will make this a little bit bigger and we'll do something like that. What I'm also gonna do is now duplicate it so I've got another wave. I'm gonna give it a completely different color and I'm now gonna tilt it just a little bit. Right click, center the background and continue tilting it. And I'm just gonna position it to be something like that. Now obviously that's covering our image, that's not great. Don't worry, click the image and bring that to the front like that. Now when I duplicate this, I can just get rid of my image like that. I have my background, I can add another image on. 
and every image will have a consistent background on it. And as long as you save this as a transparent background, this bit at the top here will still be transparent. So you can go for some quite funky images here. I mean, look, I, you, know, you don't have to do any of this. Let me just scroll back over here. Let me get rid of the wave, right? Let us shrink down this logo over here for a moment. Let's go to elements. Let's go and pick a circle like that. Let's put our circle here, make it as big as the edges of, notice the hash, I've made it as big as the hash. Let me now make this circle be uh, white. Now you're gonna probably say, well, I can't really see it. So for the purposes of the tutorial, let me make the background of this be, whoops. Let me make the background be uh, that dark blue color just so you can see it. Let's get our image, bring it to the front. And now I could position it something like that. If you're worried about consistency, by the way, go to file, go to show rulers and guides. And if I now put my mouse over here, I can actually position this. So I can start to go, okay, what is the exact middle or how, what are the, what's the new hashtag I'm creating here in terms of the, the padding I'm gonna be building in. So as long as your image sits within there, you are fine. If this now did not have the blue background, use your imagination here, okay? In fact, let's just make this a different color uh, just so it's easier. Let's just go with that, okay? If you now save that as a transparent background, your product images will now look like that. I'm gonna take this pattern over here. I'm gonna make it, give it the same gray color we had before, and I'm gonna move that to be, in fact, it's that gray color like that. And I'm just gonna do something like this. And I'm now just gonna crop some of that out because I don't need it to be spilling in over here or there. And we'll go with something like that. That now means that every single one of my images will have that on the background. That is completely unique and bespoke if you don't just wanna have like image, image, image. That is a really cool way of how you can make things pop. But we can go a step further. Let's just get rid of all of this. If you've got an image like a photo where this time you've now got a person, and the legs are cut off because of the way they took, they took the photo. In that scenario, you might just want to increase the size of the image, right? You know, you might want to do something like that. Now, um, and then maybe bring their, sorry, let me just shrink their head down. So now the head is kind of just above the hash, but the legs are creeping beyond now. Do you get what I mean there? You could keep the background or go to edit image and remove the background again. So now the legs are coming to the bottom, otherwise the cutoff would look a little bit odd. So you could do something like that. And again, like I said, you could go over to your elements and you could add in a completely unique background. I mean, this is a little bit crazy. I, why would you go with something like that? But hey, let's just do it anyway. So you can be super creative with how you do it. I'm gonna show you an example of something we did for someone once. Here's an example where someone wanted images and they wanted them to be quite close to the top and bottom because of how they were positioning them. Notice the color of the layout is because we weren't just using the standard WooCommerce sizes, so we had a bit more of a landscape. But these images here, if I just take this away, that was a bit of a background design we added. Circles, we could, I think it was called circle dots that we searched for in Canva. The background here is just a gradient image. Circles move, they're not in the same position. However, there is some consistency in the style. They've all got that golded, faded out gradient pattern. You have the same circles, but now they're repositioned in different areas. So you can add variation into your design in a really simple, easy way. With Canva Pro, if you wanna have the extra features like background removal and stuff like that. I see images sometimes like this, and bits of the jewelry or maybe the food or something is cut off. And it's almost like if you had just thought a little bit carefully about the image you're using and positioned it in such a way that it was in the middle, the viewer will now see, well, what is this all about? Because at the minute, I can't see the edges. And please, please, please do watch out for images where you're showing off more than you need to. I remember one of our very, very first clients. He had like a pedestal with some plants a, a, like some cloth draped over the pedestal, and then he had the product, which was like cream. And I went, "You don't need to see any of that presentation. You know, you're not in a, you're not, you're not in Caesar's palace or anything. Just get the image of the bottle, whatever. Remove the background and have it all consistent. Because they had tons and tons of images. So don't make it crazy, and most of all, make it consistent.
Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I hope that helps you out. Take care. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag. Cause I sing.